Glad to have you back here on Just Nigeria, brought to you by the BBC and Channels TV. I am Wally Fakilin. Thanks for staying with us. Coming up, we'll meet the engineer on a mission to see that robotics is included in the African primary and secondary school curriculum. But first, in South Africa's northern KwaZulu Natal province, rural life means access to water is scarce. In one village, over 400 households have to rely on groundwater used by cattle. The lack of taps and clean running water make it extremely difficult to follow public health advice on frequent hand washing and hygiene to protect against the coronavirus. Nomsa Maseko reports for Just Nigeria. In rural Guazulu Natal, these women have been waiting since before dawn for water. Demand far outweighs supply here. This is the only water source for more than 400 households. So they're bracing themselves for the virus. It's taken Zanel and Gossi six hours to reach the front of the queue. We don't have water. Now with the arrival of COVID-19, we have a massive problem on our hands. We don't get enough water for cooking, bathing or cleaning, let alone wash our hands. We just don't have enough to go around. Back home, Zanele purifies the water with bleach and she urges her children to use it sparingly. But she makes sure they get the message about coronavirus and hand washing. This village was given two tanks of water at the beginning of the pandemic. But that lasts just three days, and the tanks are only refilled every two weeks. One water pump for thousands of people. This water is relatively clean compared to the village an hour away from here. But still, this is fertile ground for coronavirus infections because everyone here has to touch this pump to get water. Social distancing lessons on the village playing field the local councillor patrols the length and breadth of this village, making sure everyone sticks to the guidelines. He says no coronavirus screening or testing has taken place here. It will take time to find out if the person has a coronavirus here because we are in the bushes, as you can see. The clinics are very far. The nearest clinic is about 28 kilometres from here. The nearest hospital is about 64 kilometres from here. It poses a big danger for people if they were to be a person with coronavirus, it would wipe up uh, the community. Spew Abtelezi, a community caregiver, has started making masks. Demand is so high, she's run out of fabric. She has to cut up old cloths to use instead. She's been teaching people what symptoms to look out for. We've been watching on the news, the government telling us about the dangers of coronavirus. So we didn't want to be caught on the back foot. We had to start immediately to follow all regulations because when death visits, it doesn't just stop at major towns only. Death is everywhere. People here are doing all they can to be ready to tackle the virus if or when it arrives in their village. <laughs> 